Hi Scorpio, welcome to a new era. My name is Emma and Scorpio is Scorpione in Swedish. I am Swedish and therefore I will get some Swedish words in there maybe uh, to explain or clarify some of the English words for my Swedish audience. Um, what's going on with you guys? Still, still Leo season. Uh, sorry for being a bit late with the messages. I had a bit of a crappy day the other day. Just felt really under the weather. I don't know what was, what was up really. Well, way too little sleep. <laughs> that might do it. Because um, my one-year-old kept kept not wanting to sleep either. Uh, so yeah, Leo season still. There's a lot of forward movement. It's like a gorgeous, gorgeous energy that is going on right now. But this gorgeous energy can sort of get the better of us if we don't keep up with it, if that makes sense. Like if, if, you're, if you're imagining a really fast, like a really high speed train and you're not on the train, but you rather go in front of it, you're sort of dead. But if you're on the train, if you keep, like if you have the same speed as the train, then it's a beautiful ride right now. So make sure you're in balance and that you have your act together a bit because otherwise it's a bit tough. Um, but there's a lot of like awesome planets in, in our favor right now. And okay so i'm doing three cards straight up because i usually did two and then an extra bonus card always wanted to come out and i figured just do three just straight away and then i turned them around straight away to then get more of a story than just to do one card at the time but i'll sh at least show you angel of miracles might we can't the camera is a bit, I mean, I'm used to do this and, and the camera will catch it, but for some, I think I moved stuff around here, it looks like. Anyway, uh, Angel of Miracles, it's the first one up, and then Archangel Raphael, so there's two angels coming your way, and then Confrontation, pick your battles wisely. Let's see what's up with that, Scorpio. Uh, so first up, uh, Angel of Miracles. Just give me a moment. Okay, so I'm gonna do like a in little interactive thing, just straight straight off the, just something that I just got inspired to do. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say three different colors and feel which color you're most drawn to. So the first color is blue, the second color is yellow, and the third color is purple. So in, in that order, blue, yellow, and purple. And not because you like a color, not because it like, uh, purple is more pretty than yellow that's not it it's like what you feel most drawn to when i say them right now so blue yellow or purple and if you're most drawn to uh the blue one i'd say that you are um like this angel is coming with a message to speak your truth uh stand your ground like tell it like it is uh if you feel something around something, not to be quiet about it, but rather speak up. Uh, if you have had some issues with your throat, uh, that is due to you sort of being in a bit of resistance, being in a bit of like, I have something I want to say, but I don't say it because not because I choose to be quiet, but rather because I feel like I'm not allowed to. And that's way different. Like if you choose to, if, you, if you're in this situation, you, feel, you just know there's no reason for me whatsoever to open my mouth here because I will just cause, you know, they won't understand. They, they will just look at me like I'm some, what? 
uh, like then it's a choice. Like you, you just know not to go there. But when it's like you so want to say something and it's because you feel fearful of what will happen if you say something or if you feel um, belittled, like feminskad, um, somebody puts you down when you talk your truth sort of thing. Uh, that's sort of that's the resistance that I'm picking up on. So if there's a little <clears throat> in your throat, uh, you might look into where you want to speak up a bit more. Yeah, and then talk like talk your talk. T start start living your truth. Live live as authentic as you can, Scorpio, right now. And for those guys who uh, were more drawn to the yellow, that's the more of the solar plexus area. And that is right now with everything, like with the sun in Leo, um, I just feel wherever you feel maybe a bit lackful in self-confidence. And if you're like have some of every, like, I don't, know, I don't know, I couldn't really decide. So then hear what I'm saying right now. And then you feel if you feel drawn to it or not. Um, if you have some lack of self-confidence, like if there's, something that is going on that leads a little boost for you to stand up or sort of um, be more proud of who you are and take like take pride in what you have accomplished accomplished so far definitely on a like on a practical scale but also most definitely as who you are as a person like how far you come as a person because it feels like you've done tremendous work like really finding out who you are and really growing um a lot like this past year and even even this past few months has been awesome i feel so then then it feels like you can strengthen the solar plexus area with the yellow like you can you can almost walk around feeling like i'm strengthening my solar plexus right now uh and that'll help you that really will help you and then for you guys who were drawn into the purple, uh, I feel that there's the opening. I'm more like the indigo is more towards the third eye and the, the clean purple is more, it can also be, this is my truth. So if you have another truth, um, that doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, uh, then I'm more drawn to like either white or like bright purple on the top. So I, th I feel like this is, a bit in between like it's like it's right here um it's a bit like with strengthening your intuition um and how does one strengthen intuition because intuition is always there that's your gut feeling the way you strengthen that is just just to start to start allowing yourself to stop and listen because the signals are there 24 7 uh but where are you in, in um, like, so that you can hear what's being broadcast to you, if that makes sense. Um, it's about practicing trusting the gut feeling. It's about, like, if this is how you feel, then it's correct. And then if somebody else comes in to say, no, it's not correct. No, you're wrong. No, that's not what I feel. Like, if you feel something's going on with another person, of course, don't be arrogant. If you ask them and they, they give you something and like you could be wrong, don't take it too far. But you're pretty much always right. So whether somebody tells you something or give you some story that you sort of feel like it doesn't add up, doesn't match, then it probably doesn't. So the first thing there is to trust. Trust your intuition. Trust whatever comes up. And then I feel like this huge like opening going on, like... Um, to, to have way more contact with the universe, like way more contact with the non-physical realm, to have more insight and awareness about new and other dimensions. So there's, there's, a, there's a big opening here going on for you guys. Well, that was a little fun thing, starting off this little reading. So with the angel of miracles and starting off that thing, I don't, you don't see that with the camera, but up here in the sky, there's a blue and a, and a purple and a yellow star. Um, and with, then with the angel of miracles, 
excuse me, open your heart and expect a miracle. I just feel like this is for you as a person. Of course, it's always for you as a person, but it's not, it's not related to work. It's not related to relationships. It's not related to your finances. It's like has nothing to do with, with in relationship to this is for you. Like the angel of miracles comes to, to give you a boost, to give you a cheer up. I almost get like a little cheer up feeling like it'll be okay. Like you don't feel like you're in deep. I don't feel like you're in deep doo-doo. I don't feel like, like what has happened. Oh my God, my Scorpios, you are just, no, that's not it. But it feels a bit, a bit, uh, like the the like the plug was just pulled like the the energy is a bit low there's a bit of struggle to uh i don't know if you're supposed to do some something uh it's a bit of a struggle to get things going or get things moving and even if you do get things moving it feels like you don't really want to do it like if you could take a couple of days off that would be awesome. Like that's what that's what it feels like. And with the angel of miracles, I mean, usually that angel comes in to also um, validate a pregnancy or like a pregnant corporation, like a pregnant business, something you want to get off the ground. Um, and if that is what like I'm 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 not that heavily drawn into that, but if that's if that is something that resonates with uh, some of you guys, then take that with you. Otherwise, I just feel like there's more and more lights being turned on. Like on the bottom here, you see there's a lot of light here. There's like the ground, and that's like the houses or the whatever you see. Like when you're up in the air, it's like you just see lights everywhere. And I feel like the, there's more and more lights coming on. There's more and more recognition of what's going on in your life. There's more and more uh, epiphanies, ideas. Things slowly, slowly start to move in the direction that you want. It's not head over heels. It's not pulling the rug. It's not, it's not the explosion change, but there's a, there's a slow and steady progress, like forward, upward movement. That's what I feel like. It's like it's going your way. It does not matter, Scorpio, if you have a little... It doesn't matter. It really does not matter because you as a person, like we talked about this opening here and the opening around solar plexus and the opening around your like... There's a lot for you going on. So there's, you know, a little dip has never hurt. There's a tractor telling you the same. Uh, Archangel Raphael comes out and pretty much gives the same message. You're taken care of. We're, we're doing a little healing with you, with your mind and your body right now. Just a little mending going on, like a little uh, stay in bed, uh, watch another Netflix series. Uh, like, sorry for that noise. <laughs> Huge tractor just started up here. Because I'm living in the countryside as we speak. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I was not comfortable with that apparently. <coughs> um, yeah, so there's, there's, uh, there's some healing going on. There's some uh, restoration. Like, like if you had a little cold or if you're having a little cold, like or just coming out of a, like it just feels like you're not completely back uh and and it's what's going on right now and i won't go into the third card i will do an extended for you guys because that's i feel like i want to go deeper with this and then there's the third card and we'll do more cards and see what's going on in your situation um so please if you want to follow me to the extended version uh, which is, a, you just click the little arrow next to the title, comes down a little curtain, and it says extended reading, and there's a link below, you just click it, and it'll take you there. Uh, if this is where we part ways, you felt like, yeah, this is all I needed, that was perfect, then I hope to see you guys next week. If anybody of you are sick out there, I, I hope you feel better soon. Um, take care, Scorpio. See you. Bye.